In this video, I want to introduce you to the College Workspace, a place for communication, document creation, document storage, and sharing. Anyone who is logging into comfsm.edu.fm has access to the College uh, Workspace, what I sometimes call Shark Space. At the core of communication is a college, if you see at the upper right, Gmail, seen here. There is also chat, rooms, and meet. This is your central starting point for communication. Mail is email. Chat provides chat capabilities with anybody else in the comfsm.edu.fm system. It is our own college chat channel and so I can connect with a student through this without having to friend them on social media. So chat is a capability within the system. Another powerful capability in the workspace is rooms. Here I'm in the Canvas admin support room. It has full messaging capabilities through chat. I can store files in the room that are only accessible to the members of the room and I can assign tasks based on those files to someone in the room and those tasks will then show up on my college Google Calendar as a task that I need to complete by that date. And when I do complete it I can click on the check and so I can have files attached to, uh, to tasks assigned to people to get things done. Uh, the calendar is a place to set up meetings Google Meet is a full video conferencing system. This is also accessible from the Gmail panel. There at the bottom left you can see Meet along with Rooms and Chat. Um, and anyone can make a room. Start chats by typing in their zoomfsm.edu.fm an email address. For documents, the center of document life is your drive. Um, everyone who has a zoomfsm.edu.fm account has a drive associated with that account. You'll notice this is not my personal Gmail, this is my college account and it has Seom FSM and I've got in there various documents. Uh, also here are the college's shared drives. These are shared across the college but the actual drives can only be accessed by people who have been granted access to them but for example college outlines can be stored here. Uh, and these don't belong to me, they belong to the college, so if I am no longer with the college, these files and these drives remain in place. The work is not lost. Documents are, the, are one of the main document types, and they're fully featured. Uh, everything uh, that you could want to do in a document is available to you here. But one of the capabilities that's new is you can have version control and version history. You've got version histories. You can see who worked on the document when, and you can see by the colors what they did. Sheets are how you do spreadsheets. You can see a spreadsheet here. Again, easy to use. Again, there's full version history on it. And there's also abilities to, uh, uh, if somebody else is, you can share documents with other people and work on them at the same time. And if you're doing that, you can actually pop open a chat window on the side and chat with each other. Presentations are accomplished by slides. You can see those here, some of mine. And you can see uh, the version history, when I worked on what. And if I click on a version history, it will show me what I was working on, on that, at that particular time. It will highlight the particular elements that I was working on at that time. Forms lets you do forms and surveys both. So you can have a form like the emergency contact form and whatever responses have come in for that. And you can have surveys. This replaces essentially Survey Monkey. You can design your own surveys with whatever questions you want. What do they prefer? Well, half of the students prefer watching and learning from a video. What do they dislike? They don't like Zoom or or online synchronous conferences. That's the least favorite way for students to learn new material. Here's another survey, Canvas versus Schoology. Students uh, surveyed predominantly prefer Canvas in this particular survey over Schoology. They, they really do enjoy it. 
and they, uh, as they've said, they don't wish to head back to Schoology. Uh, Currents is a place to build online communities within the college account. We're still in the college account. Sites lets you build uh, sites, again, within the college account, but these would be public-facing, but could be a place that you're putting up informational material that your department or division needs to be able to maintain in some way uh, and accessible uh, more broadly. Data Studio is a business intelligence tool that lets us drill down and look at different types of outcomes. For example, if I want to look at just this term, and only assignments. I can see the average on the general education and the institutional learning outcomes here. Data Studio can also provide information drilling down by um, major or any other metric that we might have in the SAS. So I can look at just the assign, just the quizzes, well, not the quizzes in this one, the uh, sorry, the assignments. Go look at the assignments. Uh, bandwidth is sometimes a factor. They'll eventually update a panel. And I only want to look at this term, all right, until I can do that. And I only want to look at my statistics class. And all along, it's telling me how many evaluations have been made for students in that. I can see the number of students, the number of measurements, and the outcome averages by major. So lots of capability here. Uh, uh, but this is a business intelligence tool, and any kind of data can be crunched and dashboarded from it again available from our our platform as part of our platform the other thing that this does is single sign-on so for things like canvas those of us in faculty use canvas we use our suum fsm.edu.fm account logs us into canvas and that's our lms canvas is not part of workspace canvas is separate but the login is through the workspace login you can see that here in my shark this sign in with google is sign in with your comfsm.edu.fm account. And so that's a quick run through of some of the many capabilities available in the college workspace. You can communicate, you can store files, you can share files, you can create files. Um, files can be uploaded, uh, they can be converted into uh, the uh, native format uh, to get better control of editing and other things. But just a brief look at the College Google Workspace. Uh, if you do have questions, let me know. If you have a, if you want to have me work with you on learning to use this system, any particular aspect of the whole thing, do contact me and uh, let me know. I'd be happy to happy to help. It's it's really easy to use and powerful, very powerful. Thank you very much for watching. And have a good day.